Hello and welcome to the Geneva Motor Show 2017. Now behind me is a car that I'm excited about, that you're excited about. It is of course the brand new Honda Civic Type R, the fifth generation, AKA the FK8. Now there are loads of cool new things about this car, which I'm gonna show you now. Now the first thing to talk about is the engine. It is the same two litre inline four turbo and VTEC engine as before, although power has been raised by 10 bhp to 316 bhp, it was 306 before, and the torque remains the same at 295 pounds foot of torque. Now with the extra power comes a little bit of extra top end speed. Honda hasn't told us exactly what, but the previous car was 167 miles an hour, so we're probably looking at, I don't know, 168, 169 max. The FK8 Type R is also 38% stiffer than before thanks to greater use of adhesives. We've got three new driving modes, Sport, Comfort and Plus R, whereas before we only had the two. We've also got auto blipping on the downshifts, but don't worry, you can switch that one off. At the rear of the car as well, you've got multi-link independent rear suspension, whereas before it was a torsion beam. And I know a contentious subject for you guys has been this triple exhaust, which kind of messes with your OCD because the middle one is smaller than the ones on the uh, outside. Now, the first question that we need to answer, the most scientific question is, will it fist? So I'm gonna go in with a double here. Yeah, that's definitely a pass. Now, the second question is, why the f is there a middle, smaller exhaust? The reason is actually pretty cool. At low RPM, all three tailpipes are used to create a dynamic roaring sound, while the small inner exhaust creates negative pressure at mid and high RPM to reduce boominess. Now, while the underside of the Type R FK2 was already smooth, this one is, yeah, like super, super, super smooth. Another neat new aero feature you'll find are these small fins called vortex generators, whose role it is to calm the airstream going over the roof to the rear wing, thus helping create maximum downforce. The wheel and tyre combos have also risen. They used to be 19s and they're now 20s, and the tyre sizes themselves have gone up from 235s to 245s. Tires fitted as standard to the new 20-inch wheels are Continental Sport Contact 6. The new FK8 also has the same front-end setup as the outgoing FK2, meaning a mechanical limited slip differential with dual-axis strut suspension. The FK8 will also produce even more negative lift than the previous model without adversely affecting drag, which helps raise the car's top speed. Now, the new FK8 will obviously be a faster car. We're looking at a top speed of around 168, 169 miles an hour and a 0-60 time of 5.6 or 5.7 seconds as previously. Now, we chatted to Honda earlier and they kind of confirmed, but didn't confirm, that there is a possibility that there will be an even faster version of the Type R. So a bit like the Golf GTI, we could have like a Type R club sport, maybe with, I don't know, 330, 340 horsepower. That would be cool. Now, little details like the price and weight figures haven't been confirmed yet, but the previous FK2 Type R was around 30, 31,000 pounds. So expect this to be maybe 31, 32,000 pounds. As for the styling of the FK8, I think it's awesome. The new aero kit with its bigger wings, lumps and vents is more extreme than before. The car's stance is more aggressive. The wheels fill the arches better and the new light designs front and rear are even bolder, which is exactly what a car like this deserves. Just like the regular Civic hatchback, the new FK8 Type R will be sold in North America for the first time, meaning more cool options to go fast on a relatively modest new car budget. Unfortunately, this car doesn't have any fuel or working battery. It's all plugged into the mains, so I can't drive it home. So I'll have to wait until the official launch and I'll let you guys know exactly how it feels. So if you want to tune cars, learn that you have to work your ass off before you tune your cars. So you want something, you go out there and you work for it. And the harder you work, the more you can do. So that, that's my general advice. And then just build whatever you think is cool. And don't listen to anyone. You know, it's your build, your ideas, so just do it.